Good morning, it's Joanna at Journaling Adventures. I wanted to show you this one real quick. It's called um, London, London Lady. It is already sold, but I wanted to show you um, before I shipped it out. Um, we've got a tie here with bias tape. Um, there's many, many layers of paper and fabric and uh, we've got a bow here, pretty lace, some pearls, and a picture of the London lady. If you open it inside, we've got a real pretty uh, pocket here with a doily and a couple little books inside. It's covered inside with fabric. Got a doily here, paper here. with a little pocket with a money check. Got a little pocket right here made out of book page with some little, little fun little um, vintage ephemera inside. Got old pages, music page, another pocket here with a fun tag got some beet and coffee paper, got a um, dictionary page with a little painting of a flower on it, I hope you can see, a little um, pocket made out of a, a toilet paper roll with a little journaling card inside, more music page, more beet page, this is a um, napkin decoupaged uh, envelope and inside we've got some old vintage ephemera inside and a little um, paper clip that is altered from a friend in a swap a um, little bit of uh, fabric right here got a little page right here to write on it says, change the world by being yourself. Uh, let's see. Got a little stain paper right there. Little, um, couple sheets of paper there. This is the center. Got a butterfly with a tuck and a little piece of paper. Lots of different vintage paper. Another pocket here that's fabric with a tag. Beat paper. Another dictionary page. Got a, a belly band. Some wallpaper. And at the very back we have a um, pocket with some bird pictures in it. And at the very back, we have a pocket, and this says London, Old and New. It's a booklet, and also um, a very old grand chapter of the Order of the Eastern Star, 1943. This London, Old and New, is all about London, where she's from. And it's clipped in here, so they don't fall out. But that is um, already sold, but I want to show that. And then this one is new. It's called Vintage Lady. And um, it is available. And again, it's got all kinds of layers of fabric and lace, flowers. It says live every day with intention. And it's got a picture of a lady right there. Got... Um, a couple little pieces of uh, um, of a doily that I cut out and put little beads on there. The clasp is right here. It's got a couple tassels and a little little pocketbook. And um, this comes off. And in 
inside we've got a, a fabric pocket with some lace. It's got a little thing, a little pocket here, and then a little booklet here. This is a very old, old book. It says Dreams, and it's very brown and beautiful. I love these old books. And you go through here, here's another pocket with some calling cards and different things. We have another envelope with some vintage ephemera inside that's decoupaged with a napkin. Got lots of pretty dyed paper. Another pocket right here with an old postcard in it. It's got a little piece of tatting on it, some fabric, some lace. Here's the other side. This is actually made from an envelope. A pretty picture there. Got a lot of oranges in here. If you like orange, this is a very old piece of paper from a book. Got a flower cover, some fabric on that side. Got a little uh, cluster up there of lace and, and ribbon. Got another little pocket right here with some vintage ephemera and tags inside. And this pocket is actually made from an old uh, paper towel that has been stained. Got a coffee filter. Here's the inside. This is just a page that's been collaged. And we have some pictures of uh, possibly her family members in here. This is a place to write. It's got paper inside. And I'll old paper right here from a book. Got a ruffle right here. Another fabric page. Very old piece of paper. Belly band with some old ephemera inside. This is an old um, page of a ledger for tobacco selling. Here's the other side, made into a little tuck. Got some edging on this paper from a, from um, sewing patterns. And then on the very back, we have a collaged piece with a bow and some flowers. And then on the very back, we have a very old, uh, I guess it was a napkin of some sort. We have a butterfly made out of, uh, I'm not sure what that's called, but it's paper. And then in here we have a very old book and it is, uh, 1943, it was a guest of honor, something happened. Not sure what, but anyway, that is, this one is up for sale. And um, I'm in the middle of, well, not in the middle of yet, but um, I found some really, really, really cool books. This one right here, I'm real excited to work on. It is from 1926, but this is the cover of the book right here. Is that not gorgeous? I mean, it is gorgeous. And this is the insides of the book, the hardback. And this is a page from the book. 
but it says right here, 1926. It's the Sears Illustrated Juvenile book. And um, this is the back of the book. I just think it's gorgeous. To me, the older books are just gorgeous. And it's, um, these are the pages of the book. So I'm sure I'll be using some of the illustrations from here but I can't wait to work on this one. And I'm also working on um, a hymnal for somebody. This is the spine that I have um, turned into. I'm either gonna use it or use it as a bookmark. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, um, if you're interested in this one, it is available, contact me. Um, it's, uh, it feels good, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Very vintage. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.